On a more serious note, the baseball community is mourning the loss of Vita Blue, who passed away at the age of 73. Demp, when you look back at his career accomplishments, what really stands out to you? Yeah, you know, here's a guy who, you know, pitched a little bit before my time. I got to watch a little bit as I, you know, grew up. But this guy was nasty, man. And he was a different bird. That breaking ball, fastball combination, he had good run on his fastball. You know, the only pitcher, by the way, to win a, 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 an all-star game for the American and the National League. Um, three all-star wins, which still is a record, too. And I want to just read this out because – I know generations are different, and we're not going to see this anymore, okay? But I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to lose this, so I don't want to. His 1971 season, he won the MVP and the Cy Young, okay? He threw 24 complete games, eight shutouts. He had 312 wow. innings wow. pitched, 301 Ks, 24 wins, and a 185 ERA, 182 ERA. I mean, ungodly things 24 complete games he started 39 games and then he backed it up the next year and the next year i mean this guy was you know the elite left-handed pitcher of his generation right or left-handed and, and in his era he was just and then on top of all of those accolades you talk to people and you hear the stories just a great man a great human being the baseball world lost somebody very special and um you know it's sad it's too soon but um he left the lasting you know a lasting mark on the great game of baseball um because he was dominant and he was um you know a dominant human being too so sadly missed and, and rest in peace uh, by the blue